Good evening everyone, I am Clarina Alvarez and I will be reporting the first part of chapter 9 which is Going Online. So to start my report, let us first identify why is it important for a business to build their own brand and why a strong digital presence matters. So what is a business brand? So when we say business brand, this typically talks about what do you want your customers will think and feel about you when they hear your business name or your brand. So this refers to how they identify, recognize, and experience your business. So there are actually two elements in having a business brand. So we have the tangible and then the intangible elements. So when we say tangible elements, these are actually the thing in your brand that can be seen or touched. So this includes your actual premises or your actual store, the uniforms of your employees and staff, as well as your campaigns. The intangible actually refers to the reputation, service, and behavior that you are offering. So it is to be noted that a strong brand is unique and relevant, and it will enable you to express the genuine value of your business, bring more brand variety and consistency, and unite employees around a shared purpose. Next, let's go to the question, why go online? So it is important for a business to go online because it makes it easier for potential customers to come to you. So a simple Google search should provide them with all the information that they seek with regards to, uh, with regards to your business and products. Second, it makes it easier to showcase your products and services. Whether it's a portfolio and testimonials from clients on a website or an, uh, an album on a Facebook page with photos of your newest products, it has never been easier to let the world know what you have to offer. Third, it makes it easier to build relationships with customers and potential customers. So customers and potential customers can interact with your brand on a more personal level. It also gives you the opportunity to truly get to know your customers. And finally, it makes it easier to market your brand. So online marketing is extremely important for all businesses because it has a huge influence on the way the customers make purchasing decisions, particularly now that almost all of the purchases that we are doing are online. Next. What is a business domain and how do you get that? So when we talk about business domain, this refers to the address or your business website. So this includes www.adidas.com, uh, for example. This, uh, this also includes the portion unique to your business and extensions or suffixes such as .com, .net, or .org. These suffixes are known as top-level domains or TLDs. So, in building your own business domain, you have to first identify or decide uh, the right domain name for your business. So, you have to identify whether or not that domain name will actually be the same or actually be equivalent to what your brand is or you're just going to use um, initials or something like that. After deciding for your domain name, you will then purchase it from a domain name registrar. Um, this is important for us to avoid copyrights, and such. Next, so the following are common questions in building your domain. So first is, do you have to buy the same domain name as your registered business name? As discussed earlier, your domain name should be consistent with the branding you use for your business on social media as well. So if your company already have a Facebook page available or an Instagram page, um, it is advisable to use the same domain name. This is to avoid confusion from your customers as well as for them to easily identify or find you. Next is, even if, for an instance, even if um, that domain name is no longer available since it's already purchased, um, it isn't exactly the same as you registered your business. It still gives, uh, you must still give your customers something similar to search for online. So, for example, you're actually, um, um, what do you call this, marketing your product in terms of online store ng mga damit. So, something that it has to be almost the same with uh, your brand name, even if 
uh, that the minimum is already purchased. Uh, this is again to make sure that your customers will find you. Next question is, should you use hyphens and numbers in domain names? You should avoid using hyphens and numbers in domain names. Some of the biggest goals for your domain name are for customers to remember it easily and be able to type it quickly. And finally, copyright and trademark issues. Again, you have to register your domain name. So it you should be 100% sure that you're not registering a domain name that has already been trademarked by someone else. This is to avoid lawsuits or any other issues that could potentially come up in the near future. So here are the following tips for choosing a domain name. So the very first thing is make your domain name easy to type. So as discussed earlier, you should avoid using hyphens or numbers or any symbols. Next is include keywords related to your business. So this is applicable if uh, the domain name that you purchase is or registered thus is not the same with your actual Facebook or other social media platforms that you use. Target a local audience if possible and applicable. Choose something catchy and memorable that stays on brand. Avoid trademarks or similar domain names. And buy your domain name as soon as you decide on it. So let us now go to web authoring programs. So when we say web authoring programs, this refers to practice of creating web documents using modern web um, authoring software and tools. So web authoring software is a type of desktop publishing tool that allows users to navigate the tricky environment of HTML and web coding by offering a different kind of graphical user interface. Next is the end user can see a visual result that is a lot like the final project after it was built. And web author tools are similar to HTML editors in that they typically allow toggling between an HTML code, view, and visual design. So some of these types of tools are also called what we call WYSIWTG or what you see is what you get editors because again they allow displaying something that looks like the final project as the user is building. So as you can see here, these are the advantages and disadvantages of using web authoring software in creating your business page. So its advantages is again, what you see is what you get in your base. So I know you can put more para makita uh, yung format ng gusto mo, the sub web page mo, may makita mo, and many of the features available in more commonly used office applica applications can set up and use templates to ensure consistency between web pages can set up hyperlinks and hotspots, can insert multimedia into web pages, and the site manager facility can be used to update links within the website. Its disadvantages naman is, it's not intuitive to just pick up and use. Normally, you need some training and our technical knowledge, so it's not very user-friendly. So, you must have, again, training, kumbaga, a little bit background compared to just building your Facebook page. Needs a basic understanding of HTML to overcome any formatting problems and doesn't normally come as part of a general office suit and can be quite expensive to purchase. So in here, kumbaga, bibili ka pa ng other license for you to have, uh, for you to create your very own software. So let us now go to the advantages and disadvantages of using general application software for pages. So the advantages includes it is very easy to create a web page and no technical knowledge is required. So user friendly siya. You do not need to pay the extra cost of purchasing web authoring software because most computers already have general office packages which are capable of creating web pages. Next, the output, the output is compatible with most browsers company does not need to employ specialist web design or development staff and finally generally uh, generally faster to produce web pages using standard application software for its disadvantages if you want to move pages there is no site manager facility to track and update the hyperlinks kung baga mano mano mo siyang gagawin a lot of extra HTML code is created which is unnecessary and can interfere with browser compatibility. This is known as bulky code and may not be able to create all of the features needed 
on the website, for example, CJ Reports. Kumbaga, you should get a graphic as you would want. And it can be difficult or impossible to edit the code, especially if no one understands the HTML. Now, let us go to the importance of having a website. I have listed here seven importance of having a website. First is reach more people. So by having a website, you have the opportunity to target customers anywhere in the world rather than having to rely on foot traffic or local visitors on your actual stores. Such a channel can allow you to drive awareness and sales by giving people an easy one-stop platform to find out more about you and purchase from your business, which in turn should boost your revenue. The only major challenge that you face in this busy online world is how your business should stand out and be found, which uh, we talked about earlier naman kanina, uh, regarding building your own brand. Next is align with your customer's experience. So online shopping, as we all know, offers convenience by giving access to business anywhere and at any time. So this is likely why, according to a data from Think with Google in 2018, 63% of shopping occasions begin online and this may be even higher since the pandemic. Many consumers will rely on the internet to research their purchasing decisions as well as make physical purchases. So with the use of your website, this will act as a platform to educate people about your business, products, and services whenever they need it. And it is also helpful in making a move or making them move along their journey until they choose to buy from you. If you have an e-commerce site, you can also enable them to make their purchase easy. Third is build your brand presence. So due to the relationship between your website and other platforms, having one is essential to build your digital presence. It uh, will also enable you to take ownership of conversations about your brand online, including responding to various, um, various platforms and referring people to your website to take their experience further. So for example, neto, if you have your um, Facebook or Instagram page that uh, may prompt means and kapag nag message tayo sa mga certain pages na nagpa-prompt na yung sagot and then sometimes nakalink ka doon yung website if they have further questions. Next is improve credibility. Having a professional website is critical to address customer concerns and leave a positive impression. This will allow you build your credibility while effectively engaging people and <clears throat> engaging people and giving them enough trust in you to make purchase. This also ties into your review strategy. So when people search your website, they want to find out what other people have to say. So kumbaga, by having a business or an online presence, it is easier for customers to see the review, the good and positive reviews that your product has. And with that, potential customer could easily identify that your product is the best compared with others. So, kumbaga, uh, this will improve your credibility, which also for you to have your competitive edge in the market. Next is access the power of search marketing. With the use of online, you don't have to pay much for marketing and advertisements such as billboards and your commercials cam and campaigns can also be seen not only on televisions uh, only, but also on the internet. Um, six is interact with your customers whenever they need you. So removing time limitations and offering an informative and useful website enables a flexible experience that a customer can tailor to suit them. This reduces any barriers, making a purchase or interaction with your business simpler. It will also allow you to provide services and drive sales without having to physically open your doors, which, uh, which can minimize effort and cost across your operations without impeding the customer journey. And finally, we have what we call your shop or window. So your website is the online equivalent of your physical store and your window so pretty much every business has one so making sure you have to make sure that um, your website is inviting and it represents your business and equipped with the right information and is equally integral if you really want to, to succeed so it is important 
uh, for business owner to use their website as a place to highlight why their business matters, why anyone should want to be involved either as a customer, employee, partner, or even a supporter. So this means sharing the brand story, describing their values, showcasing their products and services. So in conclusion, since most people today are making their purchases online as business, you are expected to have an online presence. So this will not only um, this will not only make your online presence be your biggest chance to unlock sales and grow company, but it will also enable you to develop your overall online reputation, which will enhance your digital and search marketing efforts further. And due to the importance of a website, it is also crucial that yours stands out from the crowd and represents your brand in a welcoming way that engages users while providing a smooth experience. So without a website, a business runs a risk of being unseen in the market or overshadowed by your competitors. So that would be the end of my report. And uh, the second part will be discussed by Mr. Mark Kevin Ferry.